Hello, thank you for joining me in this uh, photo reading session. We're going to be post-viewing this book, Rocking the Ramparts. Thanks for joining me in the last session in the preview, uh, prepare preview and photo read session. If you don't have your photo reading course yet, you can get it through me in the link below in the descriptions. Be sure you have it, it's always important. Uh, all right. So let's get comfortable and set up. We've got our giant mind map, as this is uh, book three of uh, uh, syntopic reading on chess. Rocking the Ramparts is very attacking oriented. So this seems to be in the more advanced parts of the game. Hopefully in the opening sections uh, and maybe even attach, uh, uh, teach us uh, on other things. But this is just the post view session, so we're not trying to activate this information yet. You want to do all this in one day so that in the next 24 hours, 48 hours, you can decide to uh, activate this information. You want that time to incubate first. So we're going through this book just to pick up trigger words, questions we may have of the author, Larry Christensen, and anything that can connect to our giant mind map. This is my brain. So this is just the first two books. Let's add to it with what we can by flipping through this book. So you can find table contents. Now I know there's a couple things in here I would want to go into deeper, like uh, the Sicilian. So what's the Sicilian? Wow, <laughs> the Sicilian. So maybe it's an opening. Okay, I wanna know how to perform it, honestly. I would like to try to play it. So, I know that's in a certain part. Actually, I can even put it down. It's in chapter four. Chapter four of uh, RTR, I'll say. RTR. Oh, these give little symbols for each uh, movement. Oh, it's lots of games in this. And it's giving descriptions. Hmm. How do I castle the king? So how to castle the king? Castle king. Castling. I think that trigger word was in here somewhere. Castling. Yeah, right here. Castling. How to castle opposite side? The opposite side king. Castling. Yeah, it's okay. So keep going. I've already gotten that written down. What you're going to find is photo, uh, post viewing later on other things may start to get repetitive. And this is good. I'm starting to see. Uh, oh, that's part of. Okay, so you can make lines of connections. Uh, potential things. This is attacks. So. And you can use as many colors as you want. I really like the pen. It's been very easy, quick to get into these small little nooks and crannies of this page. And these are these are names of people that you can look into. So maybe opening up different uh, avenues of understanding who likes to play chess. Um, like here's here's two names G Shahad Shahid who's playing white and Yudison who's playing black this is from New York uh, 2001 and it's uh, playing the Sicilian defense awesome centralization Type that down. Not sure what centralization means. Cutting the board in two. Two. Kind of want to know what that is about.
Romantic openings. Called the real ride. <laughs> I, I want to know what a gambit means. So, what's a gambit? Combinations coming back up. Inspirational attacks and combinations. So attacks and combinations, you know, seem to go hand in hand. So, attacks. All right. Well, you know, let's just check the table of contents real quick. And there aren't any, anyways. That's the great thing about these chess books. They're very, very straightforward. Here's what you got. This is what you got. If you like to read it, you want to check them out. I think playing some of these games may open up a lot more. Uh, perspective of this book so maybe that'd be fun to do in the activation play one of those games so that is the fo that is the post view of this book you know we added a few new things we didn't have to the whole your whole mind map of course your whole mind map should look a lot different than mine uh, that's my mind map uh, but you know we got centralization like to understand that cutting board into you know we added a Sicilian defense and how to castling on opposite sides. There's going to be places in there to look into that, to grow that, knowing that attacks and combinations are pretty similar. Let's just have some fun. Let's doodle a little bit. Let's just doodle a little bit more. So, I don't know. It seems like fun. And I guess there's my version of a bishop right in the center. So anyways, have fun with yours. Um, this just opens up a lot more uh, creative processes to, uh, well, make combinations and attack this information. So have fun with uh, your syntopic reading. This should be a, a joyful experience uh, of growth. So hopefully uh, you'll join me in the next video where we go into the next book number four of our syntopic reading and set... This aside for now, as you always want to wait 24 hours of incubation period before you start activating a book, especially syntopic reading. So thanks for joining me in this video. If you don't have your photo reading whole mind system, again, you can get it in the link below. And please join me in the next session. Happy reading.